Uh, hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up and generate AI voiceovers through text-to-speech in Microsoft Azure. This is functionality that's available with a free account. First off, go to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Microsoft account. You can create one here if needed. Once signed in, you'll be into the main portal page. From here, we go to the search bar at the top of the page and type in speech and speech services will appear under services in the drop down menu. Click that and you'll be taken to the Azure AI services speech services page. Now click create. Choose on the create page, choose your subscription and a resource group. If you don't have any resource groups yet, you can create one here. The name is not too important. A resource group is just a container for services. So now choose a region. Typically here we want to choose a fairly local region to you geographically. However, for this example, I'm choosing North Central US as it has more AI voice offerings. Give your speech service a name. This will be converted into a URL, so it does need some uniqueness but you'll be told if the name that you've chosen is already in use. In the pricing tier, you can choose free to make use of the free services, or if you have a billing mechanism, you can choose standard tier, which offers more options. Either way, be aware of the pricing details link if you choose the paid for option. We're going to be using the free tier in this video. Here I click create for some validation. And then I go back and click Network to visit the networking tab. I want to change to selected networks as I want our speech environment to be restricted to me. But as I was editing this video, I did remember that perhaps virtual networks might not be available as a free user. So you can leave this on all networks for now and we'll come back to it later after the speech service is created. Click Next to proceed. And now click through the identity and the tags pages and click review and create, followed by create. SEO will now go and create your speech service. Once it's created, you can click to go to the resource group to see your new speech service in the list. It may take a refresh of the page to load in. Once you can see your speech service, click on it. Here you'll see some details about your speech service. In the overview page. Next, I'll take you through setting up the network restrictions. So click on networking, and on this page, we want to choose selected networks and private endpoints. And where it says firewall at the bottom, click on the box next to add your client IP address, and then click save at the top. And now we can go back to the overview screen and we can click go to speech studio. OK, in the Speech Studio page, scroll down through to the Text to Speech section and click on Try Out Voice Gallery. The Voice Gallery will now load. If you see any error messages like I have on the screen, wait a minute or two before reloading the page. It can take a little while for those firewall changes we just made to update. Refresh the page and eventually it will load in properly. With the page loaded, We'll now see the AI voice catalog. We can click a voice name to select it, and then over to the right where it says default, we can click to play a sample. The second step will follow at least five weeks later, coming no sooner than the 12th of April. You'll see that there are a lot of voices to choose from here. Some are marked as open AI. We can click one to sample it. These may not be available in your chosen region. Això inclou l'adopció de fonts d'energia renovables, la promoció del reciclatge i la reducció de residus. La you can sample some of the other voices here as well. When you've chosen a voice to use, click Try it out. Here you can see that the open AI voice that we have selected is not available on the free tier. Other voices are though. So we'll click Sonia and we'll type in some text and we'll choose to play that in the cheerful style. This is a test of Sonia. She is in the free resource layer. Now let's click Go to Audio Content Creation to generate some real audio. 
In the Speech Studio, audio content creation is where we can type or paste the text we want our AI voice to say. Here I'm typing in a few sentences. Above the text window, we can set a quality level for the output. Over to the right is where we choose from a number of options to change the voice and style. We have to assign a voice to each sentence. We can click play and it will play the sentences from the selected paragraph onwards. Hi, this is what I want Sonia to say. This is the second sentence. Thanks for watching. We can introduce punctuation to affect the cadence of the speech. Hi, this is what I want Sonia to say. This is the second sentence. Thanks for watching. And if needed, we can change to a different voice. Notice the voice change affects the selected paragraphs only. Hi, this is what I want Ryan to say. This is the second sentence. I'll change some more text. Please leave a like. Now I'll save the current text to the cloud storage. Finally, I'll show you how to export the sound files. You can export to the cloud audio library or to local disk on your computer. I'll save to local disk. Here you change the output file format as well as choosing how many files the output is broken up into. Click export and the files will be downloaded by your browser. And with those files downloaded, you now have your AI voiceover. Let's open them up and have a listen. Hi, this is what I want Ryan to say. Please leave a like. I hope that this video was helpful. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Thanks.